Classified interviews, man. We live, man. BT weekend. We had to come outside, man. We back outside with it. Give me your name, man. I got the guy in the building. 17th Street Moolah with the businesses. Yeah, man. Where you from, bro? I'm from Mississippi. Mississippi? Yeah, born and raised. I was school out there, man. I ain't never been. I don't even know how it is. Regular out there. school, bro. Yeah, did you do anything? Sports, anything in school? Nah. When you start rapping? When I was like eight, nine, something yeah. like that. Who was you listening to, Mississippi? Like, who was the arts influence you back then? Growing up? I mean, before you wanted to rap, before you did your first bar. Lil Wayne. Okay, I was Future. gonna say Wayne. Okay. Oh uh, shit, the weekend. That's that's a good little collection right there, man. I can hear it in some of the music we have playing. The weekend hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, so I always ask the artists like your first. You remember your first. Time, your first line, my name is that that bar, like my name is such and such. You remember your first time? No? So when did you start taking it serious? Like what grade and what age was you? Probably like eight grade, okay. eight, seven. Okay. Going like yeah, some shit like that. Yeah. So you known around town, rapping? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I seen the videos, man. You look seasoned, bro. Like you've been doing this shit a while, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to that. So when you started doing taking this serious, have you put together like a mixtape when you when you first start eighth grade? Did you take other people's songs and redo them or something like that? No, nah, I was making my own shit. I had my first tape. I had dropped a tape called uh, No Sympathy Song, but it was before I was signed. Okay. So it was like, yeah, I had to take that shit. I think I dropped that tape like in eighth grade, something did, like that. Man. So, did you collab or you always been by yourself when you started out? I I had it was. Me and my uh, I got some brothers too. Okay. From where I'm from, they be rapping too. Okay. Le Draco, T P Z, and them. Yeah. And that's who I was rapping with, but it wasn't no group. It was right. like we just used to be making songs. Cipher, together. yes, that's the crew. Yeah. So, so you know, artists go through that development with producers. You got a team of producers you working with now. From, you know, back then you was doing it yourself. How was you doing your music back then? Compared to now, as far as production, you making it yourself. Yeah, I was writing my own. Music. Okay. I really go to the studio and punch in though. Yeah. I write sometimes. I, it depends on how I'm feeling. Right. You messing with the programs and producing and shit like that. Yeah, but I ain't. I just be like from producer to producer, like. Right. I just be, keep going, like keep getting new shit. I don't be stuck on one though. So you got like a favorite when you working with? Just kind of got your sound down and pocket you. Nah, still kind of developing. Go through that, man. You know, Drake didn't sound the way he do now when he was in the beginning. He had to get with engineers that knew how to lay that pocket right. It didn't matter. We hear Drake's on his voice, inflections, cadences. They're always in the same type of pocket, you know what I'm saying? So that's just something we're going to grow into. How you categorize what you was doing in the beginning, your style when you was rapping in middle school? Was it like turned up shit? Was it, was it serious? It was, yeah, it was serious. It was more serious. So how is it in like the neighborhood you grew up? Like heavy gang infested or yeah poverty yeah, yeah. poverty yeah, whatever it's everywhere it's yeah. everywhere hit the uh shutdown i know the shutdown hit is all hard have you been back home since the whole quarantine you see how oh yeah yeah how's it now see it's, it's, it's shit open for real yeah i mean bro we're in la and you know as you see you your bt weekend man we out here santa monica pier live when a lot of shit open you know as far as venues and events and things like that to do so let's just get into it, baby, and we're going to come back to the music and talk about where we at now with the music. So you're here for the BET weekend, man. How was it? First time in L.A.? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah? How was the vibe, man? man? It was cool. Yeah. I was fucking with it. Okay. Y'all was down there at the, the major hotel. Right. I sat out there. After Can't I left speak you. on it, though. No, I ain't. Speak. I said the major. That's it. You yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. I sat out there for a cool two hours after I left y'all, Jack. I'm talking to you. People walk, I mean, you know, I'm just chilling on the couch or whatever, man. So, did you meet anybody that you wanted to meet? I met a few people. Okay. Yeah, nobody major, though. But, shit, I was running across a lot of people, though. Yeah. A lot of, lot of, lot of pictures and shit and people letting them know you coming. Nah, just nah. keeping it. Yeah. yeah. Just, I don't be with all the pictures. Like, I just be, right. I see you and, like, oh, yeah, that's him. I'm you had going. that star power, man. I seen y'all over in the, in, in the corner, man. It was... You, it was live. I think I seen y'all over there. I was sitting on the couch. It was definitely live, man. A lot of people going through. Uh, so let's come back to the music then. You hit BET weekend. Y'all shot some videos and shit while y'all was here, bro. How many videos y'all knock out? Like four. Four? Give me your YouTube and your Instagram. Oh, 17th Street Moolah. Everything at everything. 17th Street Moolah on every platform. Okay. That's how you can find me. We're about to talk about the videos they got. Uh, Man, your videos is crazy, bro. So when was your first video? How old was you when you shot your first one? 
I was 17 Damn. when I got signed, when I shot my first video. Toe right. tag. Yeah. Yeah, and then I, the one I like is y'all in the car, the little detail and shovel, whatever. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's 40 yard dash. Yeah, okay, so we're in town, we're in the music atmosphere, you got the energy, all these celebrities and shit going around. Is anybody that you see you want to work with? Like, like collab or something right in your age bracket? Because I've seen all type of age celebrities, artists, young, old. Yeah, there's a few people. Okay. Yeah, there's a few choices. Sure. I really just be trying to work on my own music for real right, right now while I'm still trying to you know of grow. Of course, of course. But I'm gonna work with some people for sure. Right, right. Networking, politics, and everything's like on a reset right now. Everybody that was kind of popping at the end of 2019, they didn't keep going. They kind of just smoothed back out. We shit. Whoever was working on their shit during quarantine, they looked the same way the people that was on fire did at the end of 2019. How'd you get busy during quarantine? I know you're doing a lot of writing, right? I was really still going to the studio and stuff during quarantine. How many records you think you knocked out? Not the exact number, this is like roundabout. I know you've been getting it in. Yeah, I done knocked out a, a few. For yeah, real. A yeah. Lot. A lot. You generate future vibes. Y'all see what it is, man. We still in the building, 17th Street, Moolah, Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? So, you've been doing some shows. Your videos are crazy. Like, you've been doing this shit for a long time. You're popping up down south. I seen you open up. Was it Rick Ross? Was you at the part of that show? Uh, Kentucky, was you in there for that? Well, right. okay, okay. So, you, you've been doing shows, right? Like, how's... Yeah, we did a show. Uh, we did a show at a house party. Like, okay. A couple nights ago. Yeah. How was that shit? Different vibe in LA. Yeah. Jumping on the roofs and shit. Jumping off tables and shit. It's cool, man. And, and so far, everything's been peaceful this weekend, B. So, you know, LA, salute y'all, man. Showing y'all hospitality the right way. Uh, we had some music playing in the background. Let's talk about your style, man. Like you said, Future and Wayne was your inspiration. What you kind of consider your style like now? What you talking about? We're going to play some music in a little bit. I'm a rock star. Okay. Uh, I'll be on, some, I'll be on some, like, some new wave type shit though. Like, for okay. Real. Are you, you, you doing melodic shit with you? Kind of, yeah. Hard? Okay. Bouncing around. I do all types of shit. Like my shit. I can go hype. I'll be on some everything for real. So we got one that's playing in the background. The video shoots, the four videos. How long did it take y'all to knock that out? What? The videos y'all shot out here, you say you shot four? Oh yeah, it took us like two days. Yeah. So who we talking about? Who's, a, who's a, your, your partner in crime that you kind of doing the outcast thing with individuals, but y'all got some good heat together, man. We're going to get an interview with him. We'll shout out Q9. Yeah, Q9. Yeah, man. Boy. So what's the numbers in the names, man? That I, it, like this new name thing is it's new to me. Y'all making nah, me feel my age, B. That really, I think that's really been his name, though. Sure. Is it 17, like, is that the street you grew up on or yeah. anything like that? Yeah. Okay. It's really called Rolling Hill, but it's for real, for real. It's called 17, 17, well, I mean, some shit like that. Okay, okay. But I really put my own street, I put street on, it's the 17th for sure. Right. But right. I put street on it myself. Yeah, no, that's good. That's like, Black Street had that shit, and that shit, I only dropped like four, five albums. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the creativity, to me, it feel like, a lot of y'all missing like a lot of lanes and years and I can hear it and I can hear the harmony He's going beasty in the rap niggas is athletic rappers this ain't no you know what I mean niggas is lazy nah y'all jumping off cars with bumper kicks and shit like that so what I want to do is I want to get into some music like that uh once again man we out here live with it man y'all in town for how many more days man uh thank three Okay, okay. So y'all been recording in town too, in the studio? Y'all been knocking shit out, B. For real. Hey for man, real. take note, working. these guys are young. And we're gonna bring this boy on in a little bit, Q9. 17 Street Moon Line of Gut. Man, he's been killing it in the game. So what song is this in the background we got playing right here? It's uh, me, and my truck, me and my boy Q9. Okay. We did call Zoom. How long ago did you guys record this one? About a month ago. Okay. And it's already going crazy, man. Y'all doing numbers and shit. Yeah, it's yeah. going crazy, bro. So y'all perform? How did, how's the performance vibe for this? I know, are y'all... We had them turn. Yeah, it's a lot of bouncing off each other and shit. One end of the stage, go to the other side. Yeah. I like to see that shit, bro. What's the name of the label, man? Hitmaker. Hitmaker. Shout out Hitmaker, man. We're in the building. So, I heard y'all had uh, parties last night was going crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. What'd y'all, so what y'all tap into last night, man? BT weekend. Man, we was really just cool, and we went to a little, a little kickback for real, just on some cool shit. Right. I heard Carly had something going on. That was yeah, and Carly crazy. Ray pulled up. Okay, okay. And then we was chilling last night with Gotti DJ. Let's play another record, man. Just kind of introduce a couple records you got, and then uh, 
Now we're gonna get out here and enjoy the sunshine, man. A little bit cracking through. Shout out again, we got classified interview series. We at it again. Out of town folks in the building. 17th Street. Shit, man, talk your shit, man. What's the name of this record we got right here? 40 yard dash featuring Q9. Yeah. This song went crazy. Yeah, I like this one. I mean, they all sound like big boy records. Performing this shit, like, I see why y'all got the lock. You got to, you got to let that shit go. You know what I'm so this summer, what, what's on tap? Like, got some more shows lined up right now for the summer? Yeah, a lot of stuff going on. We really, we finna go from town to town for real city to city. Yeah, a little promo tour and shit. Everybody getting back out here, man. Y'all gotta come back to the still, like, it's like a little pre-tour for real. Okay. It's still, like, COVID going on. Right, right, right. But we trying to figure out what, what can or what can't happen in the city. You know, who, who who will really open up with capacity and not shut you down before you get everybody in that bitch, you know. We throw clubs out here, so we just trying to play step and go. We got to be at, uh, virtually, if anything, man, tap into a couple, you know. When y'all start releasing these videos, man, you got to let us know. So what's the name of the videos y'all shot out here? The uh, name of the song? We shot, uh, Step. Okay. We shot, I shot a song I did called Pills in the Attic. Okay. I shot, and then we shot a couple more. Yeah. Yeah, man. I think we shot, uh, <laughs> see, we be doing so much songs, and for real, we shot a lot for real, though. I think it was five. Okay. We did five instead of four. Okay. And just moving around, doing promo. Let's do another. So, this, again, the name of this record. And is a video to this one as well? Yeah. Okay, and, then, and so obviously y'all got the YouTube. Make sure y'all tap in. What's the name of this one that we playing in the background again? 40 Yard Dash. 40 Yard Dash. I want to thank you for being out here, man. Hanging out in the city. We got caught up with you out here. Taking out on this environment. What you think of the ladies in LA, man? See <laughs> you out here on the pier, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, we got something at home we can't talk about? Uh, okay, what you think, it man? Got, hey, okay, the okay. vibes out here, for real. Yeah? The vibes out here. I man. Can't tell. It was a nice little stroll. We just took it down the pier, man. It, 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 anybody was taking pictures? I seen you taking pictures last night at the hotel, man. Yeah. That's the thing, bro. People want to get there early. In LA, like, you feel like we want that shit first. You know what I'm saying? And like, I don't, I'll figure it out who you are later. Let me get that ball back. Yeah, so appreciate you stopping through, man. I don't want to hold up too much of your time. You got to get back on this beach and put your feet back in this sand. <laughs> appreciate you for stopping through, man. Once again, classified interview, 17th Street, man. Talk your shit on the way out, man. Yeah, 17th Street, Moolah. You feel me? Mufasa, the king of the jungle. We out. Yeah, we right back at it. Let's go do this shit round two, man. Why leave and shit, man? Beautiful atmosphere. Who we in the building with right now, man? Talk to me. That's my kid. Y'all a couple of weeks ago, man. We previewed this shit, man. Said we will get him in LA. We're we'll gonna sit down and do this shit live. So we out here at the Santa Monica Pier, man. We're doing round two. Tell them where you from, man. Detroit, man. The East Hard Detroit to be exact. Right. Exactly, exact. That's right. I did say that. A little bit of sports in high school, too. So I play basketball. A little bit of championships and success there. Yeah, man. Crazy and okay, that's what I like about the, you know, that sports background, a little discipline. It comes off in the music. You know, this is your first go around in music. You started rapping when you were a kid, right? No. When's the first time you started, like, what age was it? I think the uh, first actual, like, serious one I made probably when I was, like, eight. Okay. But before that, I was always in and out the studio, like, making rings on my pops. Video games, ringtones, I mean, had a little explosion for me. People be forgetting about that. Yeah, that mailbox money don't don't forget that shit keep coming in. And you know, that video game pop. So who was you listening to growing up? Like like influence, like old school, like kid. This nigga was already LL and some shit. Wayne, okay. okay. Biggie. Wayne had a heavy influence, man. Generation. Definitely when I got to like 11, 12, future. Okay. Okay. Young thug. All them was definitely on them. Man, it comes through and y'all are playing y'all music and we hear it, like the harmonies and shit. I remember Wayne saying one time, he got on people that was singing, rappers that was singing in their music. I don't know who he was talking about, but then he turned around and started doing the shit. Man. It's out of here, you know what I'm saying? So your first, do you remember your first record that you that you made? Like my name is? It was called, uh, 
called Young and Reckless. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Bullshit in the room with Taylor. Young and Reckless, he was, he was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Detroit, man. Yeah. So you know him in your city? Like, you go back home, they like, oh shit, that look cute? Yeah, but I'm out, bro. Like, be outside. Of course, of course. I mean, that ain't really the football field you want to be playing on like that, but it's nice to fly over every now and then. So you've been down in Kentucky a lot doing a lot of music. Yeah. To bring your current and shit. Yeah, you know man. And the videos have been crazy. Yeah. You know what we did last time, right in the middle. Give me your YouTube and your gram, because yeah. they go hear a video and be like, where can I see him? So you follow me everywhere, man, at Q9, S-A-E, Q-U-E, the number nine, S-A-E. And my YouTube is Q9, Q-U-E, Space Nine. Simple as that, man. Y'all make sure y'all tap in. And, and you see they coming out, they ain't scared to come to the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, man, come on. We was outside all night last night. Yeah, it was so crazy. The, I don't know what was going on with the police pulling up, but man, yeah, the BET was still live, man. Out of town, people made it live. So, man, we appreciate y'all still coming out here, giving us the vibe, man, because you see LA was at home depressed, like, I ain't fucking with that shit. Yeah, last night was it. It wasn't how I usually be around this time, but right. it was still lit. So, you been to LA before? Yeah. Okay, so this ain't the first time. How many times you been out here? It's probably like my sixth time. Okay. So you look like a little one of the child actors or stuff like that, man. Like, you, you, are you familiar with any of y'all networking? Uh, yeah, I know. Um, Dante the Poor, the shout out Shaman from the Shy. Shy okay. You know, Seen him uh, last night. Yeah, they're my brothers. Okay. I started to get a picture. I didn't want to look like no hook, though, and shit. Um, and I ain't seen the last episode, so I'm interested yeah. to see how they ended up and shit. I be messing with uh, little Tyreek, too. Okay. I told him we was on scrap when Power was going on. Yeah. We too, and I, Michael Randy, you know he was on the tours as well, man. He came out here twice when he did Barbershop Three. He, uh, him and Tarion from Atlanta, the one that got killed in the, in the show. Yeah. They both jumped on the tours, bro. Had a nice little. Got the vibe, bro. Like I was telling your partner. Shout out Seventeen. We just wrapped over here. Man, yeah, sure. man. We gonna get into some records in a few minutes too. We all the way live. You hearing the bounce back to Echo? That's because we out here live and direct. Santa Monica Pier. You know what I'm saying we doing it again. Detroit's in the building. You know what I'm saying Kentucky. So talk about some of these videos. You guys just knocked out four out here. Yeah. In the working. How was that, man? It was fun, man. We had a uh, deal one on the desert. It was crazy hot, but the wind was blowing. Oh, okay. So it was like I don't know. Did you have on all white and shit like that. No, I had on uh, camouflage. Okay, okay. That's what you do. That's what you do for the desert. Man, I'm anxious to see how these shoot sides uh, turned out. And so. While we got one playing, what's this record in the background, yeah, man? Yeah, this record 40-yard dash. 40-yard dash. I think it was like top 15 most added on the radio. Okay. Yeah. Hey, man. Y'all ain't no teenagers. I don't know what they talking about. We, we got to get we got to get the connection with the, the West Coast yeah. and jump over Texas and bring y'all out here, man. Because y'all got the star power. We got the fans. They want it. You know what I'm saying? And we got shout out home, basically. You know, don't let me forget about home. But yeah, man, it's some future collabs that just us interviewing. I'm hearing shit like, damn, he hooked up with this person. That might be. And then, you know. That's just the way with like y'all know I hooked up with this kid, that's the kid, I put you know what I'm saying it. I need train. Right, 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 right. So we talked about the first record, we talked about I mean because you've been doing it a long time, so it ain't really no first record. We just kinda categorizing the career that you've been doing. And what's the name of the label now? Hitmaker. Hitmaker, shut up. Bro, we've been we've been we've been rapping all the way through the quarantine, man, and I think it's gonna be some things. Look at the talent, you know what I'm saying? And we got all these people that need to know about y'all, so I think it's gonna be some things in the future to come, man. So we in the summertime right now. We started out fucking up the summer, just like we said it was gonna be fucking in LA, just like we said it was. What's next? So, uh, we got two ahead of monster. Me and Moolah dropping a collab. Okay. Okay. Oh shit! So that's what we're gonna roll for right now. Oh, you just dropped some fucking exclusive. I ain't know that. Yeah, nobody know that. Okay. Bro. Okay. Like yeah, I appreciate that. Y'all got it. We about to get on the roll for that. That's what we're gonna roll for right now. We leave LA. Going to New York. Okay. We got fresh people. We about to get on the Enjoy that shit. Eat it up, man. Chapter uh, seventeen, bro. Like, you know, it's just getting started. You know, and that the, the song that we playing in the background. Again, this is called 100 Yard Dash. 40 Yard Dash. Shot the video of this? Yeah, we shot the video. This is on the YouTube. Yeah, this video going crazy. I want to tell you, man. This ain't the car wash one, is it? Yeah, it's the one I like. It's the one I like. You go to my catalog, all I have to hit is Q. There it is. You want that one, man. You want the dash one? Yeah, you want to put that one up. Make sure y'all taking out Zoom. This is 
another one of my favorites. I think they playing me a low key sample of the EP or something. Yeah, the EP gonna be crazy. That's what I'm saying. July 2nd, make sure y'all tune in. Two headed monsters gonna be crazy. Man, after BET weekend. If you ever been to BET Weekend, quit playing with us, man. I don't yeah, think I got hold of like 4.45 a.m. Yeah, Trying to get a burger. They said, oh, we got his breakfast right now. I don't want no breakfast. I need cheese and mustard right now. <laughs> Play with me. Man, I appreciate you, man. I yeah. want to get back out here in the sun. Too. I know y'all want to get around. Y'all in town a couple more days, right? Yeah, I think we leave out tomorrow to head to New York. Yeah, bro. Remember them days of flying, 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 yeah. right? Road, man. man, I appreciate you guys for coming through again, man. Hey. Bro, man. Where my guy at? 17. Ain't man. too many to do this, you know what I'm saying? We kicked it on live before you pulled up on me in real life. Like, I'm, I'm, mean, niggas do this, you know I'm trying to take it back to uh, BT links, you know, but not the corny because we always call them corny, but just like, I ain't trying to go to the hood yet, you know what I'm saying? But shit, man, I want to get it. Do it like this, bro. Shout out 17. You see him, man. We in the yeah. building, man. Oh. <laughs> You see my hand? You see the classified hand? This, that's all you gonna see. All right, bro. I appreciate y'all coming through, man. Got the brothers in the building, man. Y'all get out here, have some fun, man. Enjoy the rainbows of uh, women that we have out here. Miami vibes. Miami vibes. We have a lot of spirit.